What's going on, poor fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're going to be doing just a quick review of round 22. Uh, Port Adelaide getting the job done by 95 points, an absolute shellacking for Mark Murphy's 300th game uh, against Carlton at the Adelaide Oval over the weekend. 95 points, 19 consecutive goals in a row. Absolutely, uh, definitely an impressive performance as we go into the last round and we've locked in top four. A massive achievement for 2021. Not a lot of people would have thought that um, halfway through the year, but definitely starting to get a lot of things going right for us as we get into the last round. So let's go over round 22 and see exactly how it panned out. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. Top four. Tick. Beat Carlton. Tick. The stars are starting to align. We play the Bulldogs for round 23. And after a 95 point drubbing of Carlton, I reckon we're primed right now. We are in the box seat um, within ourselves. A lot of people outside the club and media and everyone um, that's in the, the news outlets and everything, fans from other clubs, or everyone besides Port Adelaide people don't believe what we can do. Some people are questioning whether or not we can go all the way. Some people are questioning or not we can beat the big boys. I'm a firm believer of we've got a lot of things right and I won't be proven right until I see it, but I firmly believe we are riding this up to our eyeballs at the moment. 95 points against a, an underband Carlton. You might not think of it as much, but to be 23 points down and then kick 19 consecutive goals in a training drill certainly to me proves one thing, one thing only. We're a resilient group and we have found our ruthlessness. And when it stacks up in finals, ruthlessness will get us across the line. And to finally put a side away like that, 95 points, probably you can take something from column A, which is, you know, um, how fantastic we were, how good we played, and from column B as well, Carlton were, don't want to be too mean, but pathetic, really. Um, and it's, it's just such a shame because Carlton have a, such a, a strong youth. Um, they have such a good fan base. Uh, you know, we know the people from Carlton, um, from Carlton are, are loyal supporters. They've been through a lot of heartache and, and people like Blue Abroad, who um, you know, I'm a massive supporter of. And you know, if you want to like Carlton for a reason, it's uh, his channel. So it's feel for them in a way, but also at the same time, I'm, I'm very glad we took advantage of them having so many good players out. Uh, I know it was Mark Murphy's 300th, but we drubbed them. We absolutely destroyed them. And 95 points is something we haven't done in a very long time. And it was good to see that we were able to do that. And people like Dixon were kicking goals. Marshall looked fantastic. Laddams played arguably his best game. And, um, you know, it, all these tools were so... Georgie Artis was a bit quiet, but um, still did his role. And everyone was playing their role. And Boke and Wines were fantastic in the middle. Amon superb. Down back, you had Jonas Alir. Cleary looked good coming back in for his game. And um, also, although Lysette went off with a knee, but a knee soreness, Mays came on, had an impact as a sub. And I think we found our final sub. Sam Mays has to hit the sub but just in case because he can play anywhere, he can go anywhere. He's a great utility. And um, that's one thing I did learn is that, uh, that you know, he's been a sub many times this year, came on and made an impact. So that was great to see. Um, and, and, and overall, the performance, I can't judge it too much. You know, it's hard to judge these games because of the drubbing it got. Um, and I think 95 points definitely helps us with a confidence of, we're able to beat the big teams. We've set ourselves up. Teams are falling over. The Dogs fell over. Geelong almost fell over. The D's um, comfortable against Adelaide, but we're third. We're equal third at the moment. You know, a game behind top. And whilst I feel like whatever happens between Melbourne and Geelong won't impact too much in terms of finals, what will impact is if we can beat the Dogs, we finish top two. And going by what they've announced with the no more pre-finals by... Uh, we go straight into finals next week. Uh, it'll most likely, I'm hoping, it'll be an Adelaide Oval final, which uh, if we finish second and beat the Dogs, then we deserve the right to have that with the fans. And I honestly believe that um, that will give us the best opportunity going forward. Momentum is everything, and I feel like if we have a pre-finals buy, that might stop us a bit. Whereas if we keep going with momentum, and yeah, I'd like to see us players have a bit of a rest, and, and we need um, to take advantage of everything that we get in terms of rest, but I think with the pre-finals by now scrap, we've got momentum coming in. We, if we can beat the Dogs next week, uh, this week, then you go into next week, you might play the Dogs again. You might play the Ds. You might, it's going to be unfamiliar territory because they're going to be playing in Perth. If they get a home final, we have to play them 
a home final in Perth. It's a totally different dynamic with a crowd, and I reckon we're right into this up to our eyeballs. And pressure's everything. You know, when you're under pressure, we seem to have learned a little bit that we can cope with it. And with players starting to build and everything starting to align, Zach Butters, Dersma and Rosie finding good form and Robbie Gray starting to get his hands around it and all these key players are just starting to build something after coming back from big injuries. It's so important that we stay as a collective now because if we can keep this momentum, beat you know, our dogs this week and... You know, win the qualifying final. All of a sudden, you got a home prelim with a week off either, but before the granny or before the prelim. It just everything shapes our way a little bit. And other fans from other clubs might feel the same way about their team. But in my opinion, I just think it helps support. It, it, being the away team, being the only, um, you know, the non-Victorian side in the top four, unless Brisbane get in, um, that's going to help us. And yeah, a disadvantage for the Melbourne teams, obviously, with the lockdown situation, all the COVID stuff that's happening everything changes in finals absolutely everything you might lose this week to the dogs but it all changes next week because you're not at home no one's at home it's a neutral territory and everything changes so that's a lot of things to keep in mind i'm very pleased with the overall performance against carlton but the carlton performance basically isn't the key thing to take away from it it's what helps us set up going into the rest of the season and I tell you what, it, this is a shorter review because we all saw the game. We've all um, taken away things from it and little things here and there are able to um, build into a bigger package for what it is this week. This week's so important. So, so important. Because we managed to finish top two and get a home final and they allow us to play the Adelaide over with, say, a 50% capacity. That's so much better than playing in Perth, neutral territory. With uh, you know, might have a half capacity crowd there, and um, it won't be as much. I, and I did say it all changes in finals. And playing a home or an away final against a D's outfit or a Geelong or whoever's in the top four at Optus Stadium, it will help, no doubt about it. But to get that home final in the first week, absolutely crucial. It sets us up massively. And I've been talking with a few Port friends today, and I was saying, you know, if we get that home final or it doesn't matter, home or away, first final, if we are able to manage to win the first final and get a home prelim, we don't have the dynasty team. We don't have a Richmond side we kind of come up against. We're up, in, we're up in our eyeballs at the moment in this. I look forward to seeing what we can produce this week against the Dogs. Form is everything. It's as simple as that. And I thank you for watching this uh, quick recap of the Port Adelaide Carlton game. It's been a more uh, a pre-preview for what's to come for the rest of the year. But Definitely a solid performance over against, the day, uh, against Carlton. Sad for Carlton because of uh, all the circumstances they're in at the moment. It's a diabolical situation and I can't imagine being a supporter, even though we've been through that situation, haven't we, poor fans? Thank you so much for watching this review of Port Adelaide versus Carlton. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content coming your way for the rest of the Home and Away and Finals series coming up. My name is Anthony and as always, count the pair.